In the wake of high-profile real estate man Marshall Rudder's apparent suicide, some tenants of his 150 rental properties are worried about what will happen to them now. 24-Hour News 8's Henry Erb tonight has some answers. Henry? Rudder's real estate lawyer Dave Schulenberg says the family remains in shock after Rudder's apparent suicide yesterday, but that he plans to meet with them soon to try to find a way to keep the business going. Rudder may have owned some 150 rental properties in Grand Rapids and Muskegon, Schulenberg says Redder was sort of a one-man operation and kept a lot of his business information in his head and that he's trying to put the pieces together. Meanwhile, Redder's criminal lawyer says he doubts misdemeanor charges filed against Redder last month for deceptive practices played any role in his alleged suicide. I don't think so because Marshall, when he'd come in my office on other legal matters, he would always be very happy-go-lucky. And when I went over the statute with him, uh, he knew it was vague. It was that vagueness in the charges that made Redder confident they would be dismissed, according to Krupp. He says he was about to file a motion to try to get the charges dropped and was waiting yesterday for Redder to call him back. The call never came. The Granville Detective uh, Sergeant investigating Redder's apparent suicide says the case remains under investigation. Thank you, Henry.